Hello, I'm back in the kitchen and today I'm going to prepare a simple dish of artichokes and potatoes. As you may have noticed, I'm using quite a lot of vegetables. Uh, I actually went shopping for vegetables this very morning. I ordered them from a green grocer and had them uh, delivered at the door. I mean, I went there and picked them up at the door which allows me to really shorten up the time I need for shopping. Uh, but the artichokes that I'm going to use today are leftovers from last week's mm, shopping haul. So they are not extremely fresh, but they are still plenty edible. And they will be our dinner with some bits and bobs of stuff. It is important, since we are not moving as much and we are staying cooked up at home, to eat food that is lower in calories and rich in fiber, minerals and vitamins. So I suggest you really consider buying regularly fresh vegetables and fruit and eating quite a lot of those. The main ingredients are four smallish artichokes, three potatoes, one garlic clove and a lemon, plus oil and some herbs. I've taken a bowl of water from the top and I'm squeezing some lemon into it so that the artichokes do not get brown. As I clean them, I will drop them into this bowl. So now I'm starting to remove the stalk of the artichoke. I peel off the leaves one by one. I'm taking off the outer tough leaf. Uh, this artichoke is actually quite tough, so I know that I will have to uh, peel off quite a lot of leaves, but once you start seeing the lighter green part, you know that you're almost there. And you think you're there, cut off the tops. Here I cut a bit too early, so it was quite tough still. And I ended up removing some extra leaves uh, once I removed the top, just for good measure. And I also removed all, all of the roots of the leaves that I had taken off by uh, using a little paring knife. So now I'm cutting the, the artichoke in quarters. Uh, cutting it in half reveals the choke inside. Not all artichokes have a choke. This has quite a lot. So using a paring knife, I grab a quarter, I remove the choke, and then I check with the tip of my finger if there are any thorns left on the inside, in which case I would remove those as well. Finally, I slice each quarter in half and throw it in the water. For the stalk, I remove the hardest bottom part, the edible part is the white part in, on the inside, and I just peel off the bark to reveal it. I want to cut the potatoes in more or less the same size as the artichokes. The potatoes have been clearly peeled. So I slice my potato in more or less the same size as the artichoke. Now, on a hot pan, I add some extra virgin olive oil. Here I'm using a quite cheap supermarket bought olive oil. I'm using a medium heat. I'm adding four um, sage leaves. You can use whatever herb you happen to have. And after a couple of minutes, I also add the garlic, which I peeled and minced a little stir. You may notice that I like stirring my food. 
and after a minute or so I add the artichoke Uh, I wait a couple minutes more and I add a pinch of coarse sea salt. I'm using sea salt because it's cheaper here in Italy than... Mm, mm, mm. Sometimes it's cheaper than rock salt. Uh, and I add some pepper. It looks like I'm adding a lot of ground pepper, but my grinder is actually a bit... Mm, uh, it's a bit lazy. It doesn't let out lots of pepper and finally also add some MSG which is not traditional but I honestly like it A little toss and I'm ready uh, to add my potatoes. This has obviously been shortened. This process took some five minutes. So once the potatoes are in, just let the whole dish cook on for a few minutes over a medium heat. I'm also adding a little knob of um, roast dripping, which I had saved a few weeks ago. Uh, when the artichokes have released all of their water, you can add a little bit of tap water and place a lid, then turn the heat down. Simmer on until the potatoes and artichokes are ready. As you can see, there isn't a whole lot of fat and they are nice and golden. Turn off the heat and keep warm with a lid. That's all. Have a nice day.